So I just thought I'd do a little video of what's in the kitchen on the farm. Um, and yeah, and what I'm going to get up to really in the next few hours. <laughs> so I'm going to eat papaya for my brekkie. Haven't eaten. Oh, I did. I lie. I had a porridge to keep me grounded and not lightheaded when I'm working on the farm because I'm used to not really used to this heat. Um, got some cabbage. It's mulberry season here, so we've been picking them off the trees. Got some lovely froggy bananas. There's so many different types of bananas here that it's lovely to understand how to cook them, one to eat them ripe. Um, some of them go really well in porridge. Obviously, Marvet's famous kale. Arucola rocket, which is super tasty. Got some sweet peppers and some um, lemon and tomatoes. I've been drying the lemon rind because, um, well, I'm gonna boil it up at some point when I can't get lemons here because it is scarcity and I need lemons in my life. Um, got some beautiful romaine lettuce and my wife's growing pak choy at the minute. Some carrots, beets, scallion. Um, I've been drying some soursop leaves for tea later and I'm gonna make, I found some rosemary, so gonna make, um, some rosemary oil. I, bought, I did buy some carrier oil from home. I think it's almond oil. I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, I'm just going to do a rosemary oil tincture. Um, got some chocho and really loving this broadleaf thyme at the minute, which is really nice boiled up. I've been doing it with ginger, so it's great for respiratory system and for many other things. And yeah, like part of the foraging um, delights is purslane, which is just such a lovely addition to salads. And also, if you do want to steam it up, tastes a bit like well it's got a little lemon sort of twist to it twang it only needs a couple of seconds boiling and all steamed um what else do i have oh yeah so so the famous kneesbury beautiful sapodilla just ripening local ginger because we know that there's a lot of fake crappy ginger going around um i've got some mangui mangoes ripening um did i say sweet peppers yeah i think i did Sprouts on the go, I've been sprouting mung beans, trying to find the seeds to sprout here because I can't live without seeds. Um, this is actually, well, it looked like parsnip to me, but it's actually a bean, uh, beetroot. Green beans, that's my porridge from this morning. I'm just loving the double sink in Jamaica because it just really helps with the washing up and stuff. Um, oh yeah, and eggplant, uh, aubergine from the farm with some collie and I'm cooking up chickpeas, so I'm going to make a little coconut curry with that. And I think that's about it. So the abundance that can be found for affordable prices and even free in the case of foraging or working a little bit on a farm. And ways to preserve stuff. So yeah, I'm going to be putting those in a little jar. And yeah, they might be a bit browned, but they'll be fine in water. They've still got loads of properties, so... Why not use them?